Listen to Dead Heads, baby. I've never felt so alive in my life. My name's Cody Black, and when you see me, I'm In this studio, looking at a guy out here, yeah. hollering my name. It's Go ahead, me, baby, let's go. When I see you, I spend more money on spilling. You're going to have to fucking kill me. Do not say anything to anyone at any time or you will be executed. Uh, hey. Hey, here we go. We're ready to blast off. Are you ready? Are I'm you ready? always ready. Are you ready for another episode of Duh Heads? Are you ready? Said we smell like sulfur. Hey! 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 He's a virgin with rage. I'm dude. surprised he's on time with the song. Yeah, no, he's he, he's fine. Uh, I've, I'm like unironically a Chris Chan fan. Like I, I've been sending you things lately. Like I get it. I've been watching a lot of Love on the Spectrum season two, dude. And, and I get like, dude, talk about the best <laughs> thing to get you out of a bad mood. By the way, yeah, Love on the Spectrum is throw that on and you'll just smile. It's fucking good, dude. I added fucking uh, our boy, uh, James. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Keep that, dude. I also Keep have, that. Do you remember the? Uh, do you remember this guy? It's a wonderful city. The OG. Right now, it's a wonderful city. Daniel Wakefield. Dude. It's a wonderful city. You remember this guy? No yeah, I do remember this guy, dude. When you were, so cool. <laughs> dude, when I was drinking, when you were drinking way too much, you're like, no, seriously, play the song. No, Dan okay. So, the, so if you guys don't know, this is Daniel Wakefield. He was on uh, Love on the Spectrum, the British version, and he's he's just a fucking musician. He's in the Daniel Wakefield experience, and he's just, it's a wonderful city and life, I guess. Just l keep looking <laughs> at like, me, no cool, right now. It's he's right here, dude. Got a little, yeah. He's also an autistic Brit. Yeah, yeah. Ozzy. Ozzy. I've it's a wonderful too much paint. city. So yeah, uh, every week now we're updating the soundboard. We just played our fucking intro song. I didn't. It sounds way worse uh, with the headphones on. I thought you had it on when you were mixing it. No, I did, but like I don't know. It just it, it, it <laughs> like this is way louder. So I have a uh, I have some airsoft fatty on there. Uh, yeah, I he have, was kind of hard to hear. Yeah, I have. He knows who Infowars well, is. He's playing this joke over here. He knows some, who Infowars is. Some Alex Jones. Said we smell like sulfur. Had some Obama. <laughs> uh, <laughs> dude, I thought that was The Rock. <laughs> no, it's Obama, dude. It's crazy how much Obama and The Rock sound alike. Yeah, I think it's funny to. Uh, I added this one, uh, which is actually. This was before this whole week happened. It's airsoft fatty. He gets chemicals thrown on him. Oh, and he's, he's like, "It's a chemical attack. I'm gonna press charges." So he's on season two of Fish Tank, right? Yeah, of course. How many tricks do you think they can have? They're like, "Uh, bring him in." It's a chemical attack. I'm gonna press charges. So, anyways, yeah, dude, it's it's fucking. We got a lot of shit going on every week, dude. Uh, because guess what? We're moving into a new fucking era of duh heads. <laughs> Corey Feldman's Ascension Millennium. Dude, that actually sounded really good. Yeah, that sounds sick, huh? Uh, Corey Feldman should start releasing clips. He sounds good in clips. No, he he sounds fucking sick in clips. So actually, the whole theme of the uh, the album is good versus evil. <laughs> <laughs> That's my album coming out. Oh, I've I've uh, defi officially declared holy war on the music industry. I was about to say that kind of sounds like your crusade. Yeah, I know. This is my, I have an EP coming out in April called Crusade, and I, <laughs> my marketing strategy is. It's a literal a holy war against the music industry. So, so are you, do you think you're going to win in this holy war? Yeah, God wins. God always wins. I might, I might be a, a soldier who dies. I might lose the battle, but we're going to win the war. Actually, the whole theme of the uh, the album. Uh, <laughs> but so okay, so this week I got a new job. We talk, we've been talking. <laughs> I love Actually, that. Actually, the whole button. theme of the uh, the album is good that. versus evil. Because we talk about. <laughs> 
<laughs> we talk about music too much. You need to keep that. Yeah, one. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so no, so this whole week we've been talking about. Well, I've had a lot of shit going on. We can't get into all of it. Le- literally, legally, we can't. Yeah, legally. So holy shit. Uh, yeah, but yeah, but um, I almost said something that was immediately going to get me in trouble with the law, dude. Um, <laughs> Don't but, do that. No, it's been it's been a crazy week. But yeah, I ha- so I had a new job, and the first thing I wanted to do on this week's episode was. Uh, I've had training for this job. I'm a chauffeur now. I'm driving people around. Yeah, that's crazy. You had like a eight hour day training yeah, I had for a, like chauffeuring, dude. That's like yeah. And I've been I've been I've been staying here for the last few days for legal reasons. So uh, <laughs> Reigns knows everything about my life now. So I I I basically work with a bunch of fucking morons, dude. And in this training, I'm gonna give you some examples. Um, so the guy leading the training uh, was one of those people who doesn't have a strong personality so what he does is he he attaches himself to all of these like little quirks about himself and those become his personality so he's one of those people who's like ah that's just my adhd i got adhd i've got adhd man i just don't worry about me that's just my adhd that's just me and my adhd (laughs) that's just me and my adhd (laughs) (laughs) that's what he kept doing all and so yesterday i i it was an eight hour shift how old do you think this guy is 40 Shit. 45 Shit. so he has four he, he repeated oh he also has four kids i know exactly how many kids he has <laughs> he kept repeating that all throughout the day so yesterday i had an adhd counter in eight hours how many times do you think he mentioned adhd probably once an hour yeah so he mentioned it nine times so almost oh, almost twice an hour um also so I, I was explaining to rain that these rain that these people were asking these questions that were just like hypothetical questions of just the most hypothetical shit you could possibly ever need to know. So yesterday we were doing CPR training. Let's just go through some of the questions and you can stop me whenever you want. If we buy a company shirt, how do we get the shirt? (laughs) (laughs) He's explaining, he's explaining how to use, how to use the app and how on the app it's, it's connected to your W2 and everything. And then you can buy like company clothes on there if you want. If we buy a company shirt on the company website, how do we get the shirt? There's one. Um, he was like, yeah, you guys might have a, a day off for this month. Uh, so this was a question. How many president's birthdays are in February? What the fuck? <laughs> Why? What does that have to do This guy's training us how to get CPR trained. Presidents? Yeah, how many president's birthdays are in February? <laughs> Is that a um, trivia question? <laughs> yeah, then he's te- he's teaching he's teaching uh, how, rules, to, how to do dude. like a CPR thing, rolling a person over. What do you do if they're missing an arm? Um, <laughs> they're so, easier to roll. So over. like asking hypothetical questions that are probably never going to happen. Like the chances of even having to use CPR at work are so small. Pretty low. And then to even be like, what if they're well, arm? What if they, what if they got an arm? It's like, shut the fuck up. If they don't have an arm. This they're girl really did easy this. to tip over. This girl did this. The shoulder's the main thing keeping you. Yes, dude. Yeah, this girl, on, this girl did this for fucking eight hours just hypotheticals and then i look at her little page of what her job is and it's like not the rest of us it's like a retarded form of what we all have to do she like opens the door yeah she's like for like the 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 car yeah she's like a weird she's like (laughs) an assistant of a chauffeur it makes no fucking sense okay it's funny because like those high-end vehicles usually they have those like automatic doors yeah no she's someone who gets out and opens (laughs) the door she still stands there um uh (laughs) Oh, is she if, special needs? Sorry. If a woman, uh, maybe, if a woman <laughs> is pregnant and we give her CPR, do we save the baby first? Do we push on the baby? <laughs> then she, he's like, what? And then he's like, how? She, then rules, she asked dude. how we save the baby. Um, what happens if someone is having, if someone needs CPR in the bathroom? Um, oh, then there was a guy who kept putting his hood on and cinching his hood all the way up so there was just a circle on his face <laughs> like this. That we're sounds at like work, me. dude. That sounds like me in like sophomore year, dude. Yeah, we were like at a job and then he pulled out a fucking Nintendo Switch and started playing it while the guy was teaching his class and then the, the guy's like, what are you doing? He goes, I'm already CPR certified and he's like, care. okay. Um, See this hood? Don't care. And now, now th- this is even better. So the guy... I respect that guy though. The, the teacher is explaining uh, that he is a boxer, okay? And that he boxes. I saw a picture of him. He kind of does look like he... He looks like a, an amateur boxer. Uh, okay, so just listen. So he looks like, like an beats. amateur boxer. So, he, yeah, he's explaining how he boxes. And then uh, some go, someone goes, like, oh, like, what gym do you go to? And he goes, oh, I don't go to a gym. I just box on my own in the garage. I teach myself everything. Oh, and then he's shit. like, yeah, you know, I have, like, amateur fights. And so I'm like, 
this guy's a liar. Dude, I'm like, fight him. so I'm like, where, who do you fight for? And he goes, oh, uh, it's like a, it's a park street boxing league. It's a fight club. Yeah, literally. It's a fight club. <laughs> he just fights at the park. It's like, you're not a, what the fuck is happening? Yeah, dude? Like nine months from now, we're going to blow up a credit card building. Oh yeah. And then the guy who was playing uh, video games was like, he's like, yeah, I don't really need this job. I'm actually be trying to become a YouTuber. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I was thinking like, I've it's been like I'm streaming right now. It's like, I've been doing this. Oh yeah. He kept like talking to me about streamers. Like I know he's like, yeah, do you know Jinxie? I'm like, dude, I'll fucking uh, kill yourself. He knows who InfoWars is. <laughs> Jinxie sounds like a female that shows her tits on streams. Yeah, I don't know, dude. It was I saw like a, so a, a like a it might have been a thread or an article, but like the top ten like streamers on Twitch are all like either cosplaying females or like just girls with their tits out. Yeah, while I mean, they're probably. playing, streaming is fucking stupid. Um, uh, good for them, dude. Women hack everything. That's like internet. Yeah, I don't know. I think, geniuses. Yeah, streaming is. It, it just shows the fucking mental degradation that this fucking idiot kid was like. I don't know. There's a lot more interesting stuff going on. What else? What else? What else have I taken notes on? How many um, dumb questions has this person? Asked? Yeah. So, and that was just like like a couple examples. I'm. Oh yeah. Uh, w women. If we're giving someone chest compressions and a woman's wearing a bra, what do we do? I mean, like, just like I mean, right? I'm not even exaggerating. Oh, and then the kid. This is funny as fuck. What do you do about those thin wires the, the stopping me from? What? So this. So the streamer kid. He also. They, the guy was like, hey, there's some sodas in the corner of the room. You can have, like, one or two. This kid was getting them and then pretending to open them and then wasn't drinking them, but was putting them up to his mouth, pretending to drink them, and then he would put them in his backpack. And I counted he took three. He took three on Thursday and five yesterday. He was um, stealing sodas. Is his last name... Uh, is he a tunnel digger? No. Okay. That just sounds like some tunnel digging activity. No, right it's there, just like dude. actual like stealing like sodas. Actual autist, like actual autism is like so fucking crazy. To, Do like, autists steal? I don't know. He's black. He's black. He's black. Oh, autist, okay. so, <laughs> yeah. Do you know what he was playing on Twitch or was he watching? Yeah, he something? was playing Fortnite online. Gay. He's playing been Fortnite. Playing Zelda, dude. Yeah, I don't know. You came um, over today. I was playing Zelda. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I'm gay, dude. I'm sorry. This is gay rules. No, it was. I don't know. It was just like. So that was just fucking. Yeah, you you did like, seem like you had a very stressful. I was um, like, it wasn't even stressful. It's just like dealing with like, I don't know, like actual, like like literally the stupidest people I've like ever. I I like don't even know how. Like I genuinely don't know like how to describe like what I experienced. Like no, it's wild. Like I can't even remember the last time I interacted with like someone that like lower of a. No, like and it's not even like they were like trying to be funny. They were like genuinely like serious. Like, what if the guy has one arm? And it's like you're never gonna ex encounter that. Like, what are you? Like, you're not like tricking the instructor. You know what I mean? That's really weird because like chauffeurs like you like w dress really nice and like he, yeah, he's just gonna be an asshole like streaming. I, I can't imagine he's, what type of yeah. I don't, know. <laughs> I don't know. It was it was fucking so stupid. He's gonna crash. Um, he's gonna crash the vehicle. Yeah, but yeah, and then in, in addition to that, I had fucking kidney stones all throughout the week. Yeah, and I've been apparently having you have stones. A, a still some little baby ones left. Yeah, right? I have like they're just like passing from my kidney. Dude, into my I couldn't bladder. imagine. I've only heard the, stories, dude. The ones I've I had, had on one. on Sunday, I had, I passed two, and dude, I was in, I I was in the shower, and like I don't know, like I don't know if I've ever told you this. I don't really take hot showers. I take like almost like room temp. Okay, like, lukewarm. Yeah. And I had the shower as hot as it would go with like the fucking nozzle literally just on my side. And it's like, I don't know if I I'm still have some or it's just really sore, but like, dude, all here is a sore as fuck. I was like throwing up because from the pain, it was like fucking insane, dude. Well, yeah, maybe go to the doctor if you still have like I've already kidney. gone. You already know this. I've already gone. Yeah, you have the most... I've already the gone. the worst doctors. They just yell at you and ask you, why are you in pain? Oh yeah, yeah. Why are you sick and why, why are you in pain? Yeah. She's like, yeah, you, you, yeah, it's just fucking retarded, dude. I don't know. Um, well, I don't know. Good luck to you, sir. Are you okay right now? Are you good? No, I'm, I'm really good. Are you like super high? Cause you're giving me responses like, yes. Are you okay? No, I'm pretty stoned. <laughs> yeah. You're like, not that guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's you right now, dude. Dude, like, have you seen, listen to this one. You're a weird Harry. 
<laughs> I this like is, that. This one's from Comptown. You're a weird Harry. Yeah, dude, it's fucking. Uh, that, that's a Comptown one. I stole. That. I was listening to Comptown this morning. Bitch, you ain't pregnant. You're thirsty. Have you seen Bitch, that? Bitch, you ain't pregnant. You're thirsty. That all sounds like you. No, it's this no, fucking. It is that. It's this fucking. Uh, this chick and it's on that show like Thousand Pound Sisters. And the, oh, dude. And the girl goes to the doctor and she's like, I'm having weird cravings. And the doctor's like, What? She's like, Like water. And then she's like, Bitch, you ain't pregnant. You're <laughs> like, That's good. You're craving water. That's a step in the right direction. Yeah. It was really weird. My wife mentioned those like two fat ladies the same like hour you brought them up to me. And I put them on TV and I noticed that like one of them, the one that has like the really, like the pug face. Yeah. The squished, the squished well, one of face. One like ill or something. One of them's like really they ill. They both have oxygen tubes. It's hard to tell who's well, been yeah. worse. They like one of them lost a lot of weight. She got like the surgery. Yeah, she's the flappy lady with the, squ yeah. the squished face. Yeah. You can tell she's like lost weight, but like it seems like that's almost like bad when you're that fat. Yeah, they like look worse. <laughs> they look worse when they lose them. They look like they're fucking melting. Dude, if you're at 500 pounds, just lean into like being bedridden. Yeah, I I just like like yeah, I'm a whole half of my body's a bed sore, but I mean, pizza rules, and I eat more pizza than anybody. Yeah. I respect that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say about Is there any part of you that would want to, like, do that? Like, just binge out and, like, game all day and just <laughs> eat food, do nothing else but eat? No. No? There's, like, no, not really. There's, like, 2% really. of me that, like, really wants that. To just get super fucking fat? Yeah, but like it has to come with like a lot of money. Yeah, how do these people like? That's what I don't understand. I don't under like I don't understand. Like I was watching this video and this guy's like, yeah, every morning he's like fucking eight hundred pounds and he's like every morning I order. I don't know this. I hate this conversation. I think this is boring. I think we need to change topics. Yeah, I, I feel I'm, like so many people have talked about this before. I want to kill myself right now talking about this. How would you kill yourself? Talking about like this is just dumb. I like hate talking okay. about this. I've just been stuck on like a. That love on the syndrome thing, so. Love on the syndrome. Whatever it is. <laughs> yep. <laughs> love on well, they do mix those in. <laughs> oh, Dude, God. you've noticed how the, the high-level autists, they get paired yeah. with Down syndrome kids. Yeah, the higher the higher they are. That's fucking... And they get along great. That's how you fucking ascend, dude. That's how you get to the fucking... That's how you get to the highest level of autism. That's the most retarded, dude. Dude, that shit rules. He's like, oh, would you like to go on a second date? Yes. What would you like to do? Ice yeah. cream. Ice cream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You tell me about <laughs> that. That rules, dude. Fucking... You know who's fucking retarded is... uh is the fucking, uh, Vin what's his name? Vince McMahon or whatever? Oh my dude, god. Dude, that guy's fucking retarded. Dude, dude. he's he's like the fall <laughs> of the titan right now. He's like Wait, 80 I'll years read old. some of his texts. Yeah. Have you seen him lately? Yeah, he looks crazy. He's got like pusher, puffer fish like lips. No, it's he, the like, di he shit. like dyed all of his hair black. Did you see that? <laughs> Jet black Have hair you, at 80 yeah, years old. It's fucking crazy. Dude, the texts are wild. Yeah, I want to read some of them here. I took, are you sure? I remember. Yeah, I, want, I remember that. I fucking hear. I like triple X him. material, baby. Uh, I love it. That's you, Janelle. You just can't get enough, can you? In the future, it's going to be so bad. You'll demand to be fucked twice a day and not just in a three way. <laughs> what the oh, my God. <laughs> Bitch, you ain't pregnant. You're thirsty. <laughs> 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 I like how you're a DJ now and you got I it just, in front of you just like I just passed I just passed my phone around to a bunch of guys on the tech crew. They were screaming, OMG, she's fucking beautiful. <laughs> the whole tech crew. Yeah, because they're autist nerds. Yeah, this is crazy. He was like human dream. <laughs> <Dude. laughs> Give me another week, baby, and I'll be ready. I'm feeling more like myself. <laughs> they're all chemical attacks, dude. <laughs> Here's what Blank said after I told him you were part of the deal was fucking you. LOL. That's your turf. Dude. <laughs> oh my god. Then I said you would take a 10 minute break between fucking you and you would get back on your hands and knees. <laughs> Dude. What's going on with rich people? This is wild. Ari, your last picture, you need your panties ripped off in three big black dicks all in three holes. Well, actually, the whole theme of the uh, the album is good versus evil. <laughs> Please keep that button. Dude. Oh, yeah, that is, is such so a good, good right? fucking this, button. This one matches perfectly. We spent a hundred thousand on a project. Yes, we're free speech absolutists. <laughs> <laughs> These compliments will just keep on coming, baby. We spent a hundred thousand on a project. Yes, dude. we're free speech absolutists. It's like if you're Vince McMahon, why not like start like a shell company and make like a porn like thing industry so you can like just get off on the sides? Why do you have to human traffic? 
I don't know. I like when I you could know. blame it on like weird ass porno people. I already told him, baby. By the way, Johnny wants Tuesdays, but not coming this occasional Saturday. That's a chemical attack. I think doing a chemical attack is funny. That's not making you laugh. It's bothering me, dude. You what don't if think it's mit- funny to call these chemical attacks? That rules. I just what? passed my phone around. That's a chemical attack. <laughs> the best would the best arc would be if Vince McMahon's like, all right, I'm gonna come back into wrestling as the human trafficking character. Yeah, fucking hell, dude. Onto the stage. Here he comes. <laughs> the trafficker. Vince McMahon! Oh, three old so Phil! I'm coming for you, city, city to city. To <laughs> I'm gonna fuck you, <laughs> and I'm gonna rape, <laughs> and I'm gonna do everything you want. Here he comes! Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's redo this. Hang That's on. a good walkout hang on, song. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> Ladies and oh gentlemen. Oh boy. Shh, shh. Coming to the stage. Coming to the stage. It's gonna be Vince. <laughs> He's coming city to city. He's gonna get ya and fuck ya real slow. He holds up the three three holes. Dude, I've always known. Like, part of me has always known that guy's a mega creep, he's, dude. Yeah, he's ever since be. I was little. <laughs> then like, we smell like sulfur. Then he knows who InfoWars is. Dude, that makes me wonder what like Dana White's gonna turn into in like twenty years. I don't know, dude. Dana White. He's already out of his mind. He got away with beating his wife in public. He's yeah. won. Yeah, he did. He he did. <laughs> You're not that guy. That's fucking crazy. He's yeah. I don't know. Like Dana White's. He's fucking funny. Have you ever watched, like, I guess we've, we've already talked about this. I don't want to get too much into it. But we've talked old, about Dana White the old, before. Yeah, the old fighter and the kid. Or, I'm sorry, the old the old fighter and the kid. Brandon Schaub. Oh, yeah, yeah, the old. Brandon Schaub. Hey, Bapa. It's a wonderful- <laughs> That's a good Brandon Schaub. This is Brandon Schaub's song. It's a wonderful- Here he comes. That's perfect, dude. Here he comes. 240. Brandon Schaub. He's the number one. No, he'd come out to Metallica. <laughs> I mean, for Brighton. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Um, Brandon Schaub would think it's cool to come out to give me fuel, give me fire, give me that with yeah, that yeah, yeah, no, he he fucking he definitely would. Brandon Schaub's a creep. Anyways, um, <laughs> yeah, this is Brandon Schaub. <laughs> hey, come on, man. <laughs> I always thought that line they're was They're creeps funny. on their own. Yeah, they're yeah they're. Uh, we're not even gonna. Get, I don't want to ruin. I don't want to ruin the peppers for you. I already. No, told I you. actually do want to do a deep dive into the peppers. It'd be fun. Anthony Kiedis. Uh, do, you, do you actually want to? Yeah, because I was talking to you the other day. I'm really good at separating the artist from the uh, music. Well, Flea, like Flea was on the Epstein flight log. He was? Um, yep. How many times? I, I, it doesn't say, but he was on well, it. like Trump was. So like He was on it. Um, I don't know, dude. It's just... If Flea was on the flight log. Anthony Kiedis talks about having sex with a 14-year-old girl Ooh. in his, in his Ooh, that's biography. That's and uh, Why would you I guess, put that in your biography? I guess she come did. On. I guess she did lie to him. But okay. come on, dude. To think a girl is old, like you can tell when a chick's fourteen, bro. Dream of <laughs> dream of California. I thought to fourteen <laughs> young. Oh man. Oh. Yeah, I, I really do want to do that because I, I'm. I told you the other day, I'm really good at separating the artist from the music. Yeah. Like I love R. Kelly still. His music rules. <laughs> dude, I don't know why you don't think Chemical Attack's funny. R. Kelly pees on a girl. It's just, you need to crank that volume up. Turn the volume up. On yeah, it? it's hard to hear chemical attack. You want the volume up? No, because it, no, because it's really like look. That's a chemical attack. It's really like background noise. Um, so dude, I saw this video. <laughs> I saw this video on fucking uh, Instagram. I posted it on my story. It's this guy, and the, and the guy's like, "What's your gnarliest tattoo?" And he's like, "I got I got a tattoo in the bottom of my feet, and it's the it's the weight it's the weights of justice, and it's I put my father's ashes in it, so that way every single day I walk around stepping on my father's grave for him failing." his family because he wanted to be an alcoholic and not a good father. He put the ashes in the ink? Yeah. And he what tattooed it into his body. What kind of psychopath is that? No, but dude, how gay is that? And he's like, I hate my dad so much that I got him tattooed inside of my own body. Every day I step on him. I step on my daddy every it's single day. like you turn day. him into carbon. <laughs> <laughs> That's next level, dude. Yeah, I got my dad tattooed inside of my body. <laughs> I want to have a My dad tattooed inside my body. <laughs> I took my dad's body and put it in my body. <laughs> Uh, it is pretty funny when they're like, well, I got this tattoo because of the trauma that I'm overcoming from my father. Yeah. Fuck, you 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 <laughs> Fuck you where you breathe. Fuck you where you breathe. Yeah. Fuck you where you breathe. No, what is that uh, from? So, uh, it's, it's the same one as this one. You're not that guy. It's the same guy. He's like, you fuck you where you breathe. <laughs> no, dude, that's just so funny. Like, I don't know. I think it's so gay to just be like, yeah, I got that fucking. That's where you hurt me, dad. It's I don't know. really funny what like hills people stand on to like 
try to make themselves better. It rules. Like, that, that's got to be. I mean, like, if you told me, like, dude, I got a fucking tattoo of my dad's ashes because he wasn't there in my life, I'd be like, that's really, that's a bit much. I would, I would honestly <laughs> say it to you. Like, uh, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to not hang out with you as much for sure. It's such a fucking Reddit tier, like, fucking thing to do. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. No, that's some, like, yeah, that's some, like, dumb justice thing. Like, stomp on my oppressors. I got a tattoo. Yeah, no, of, like, literally, like, like literally. I have, I have the founding fathers on my feet, so I stomp on you. Yeah, that's like what it is. It's like so, it's so gay, dude. I was thinking, uh, <laughs> how deep of you? Yeah, no, like fucking literally. You know what's funny though is, um, I was thinking we were talking about Vince McMahon's tweets, and then, uh, oh my God, or, or not tweets, but texts, and I was thinking about Tony Hinchcliffe re reacting to him, dude, and just Tony Hinchcliffe being like, Vince McMahon's done nothing wrong. I love him. Lord McMahon has Lord done McMahon. no wrong. I know this. He will be. He will be guilty. He will be innocent until proven. <laughs> innocent until proven guilty. Or I am not the Joker of Come, comedy. Coming to the stage, Vince McMahon. <laughs> Kill Tony. Let's copy him. Dude, that probably might happen. That could happen. Dude, it's it's just Vince. It's just the girl who who gets trapped by Vince McMahon, and she's like, I got a tattoo of of the of 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 the Cold Stone logo on the bottom of my feet, so I could step on his most prized fighter I would cold, stone cold Steve Austin they pull a name out of the hat Michelle uh, come to the stage Michelle yeah, I got I've it. been a traffic <laughs> yeah 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 Michelle come to the stage she's like she grabs the mic she's like all right everybody listen to me please I got Vince McMahon's cum tattooed on the bottom of my feet so I can step on his body every day he's a chemical attack <laughs> the problem is she'd probably get a pass she gets, she gets <laughs> like oh good bit good oh yeah bit. good bit nice, good bit you nice, tattooed you tattooed Vince McMahon's cum into your feet <laughs> That way I step on his cum I every day. I step on the patriarch. I step on the patriarch. And I have a cum. weird infection also. <laughs> Bitch, you ain't pregnant. You're thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> what is that from? You fucking idiot. You know what it's from. I told you. It's from a thousand pound sisters. I'm sorry. It sounds like a different type of person. This one? Sounds like Bitch, Orlando you Brown. Pregnant. You're thirsty. No, yeah. it's a fucking late. It's crazy God, This is why when you smoke too much, I have to stab you, dude. Why are you yelling at me so Because, much? Rain, because you're like, what is that one from? I'm all, did you see the show, A Thousand Pound Sisters? You're all, yeah, I was just watching it. <laughs> well, no, I watched a clip of it. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> yelling at me too hard. Uh, fucking. You're too harsh on the boy. I know, dude. Are you also, excited for the X Games? Never. <laughs> never. I'm, I'm never, dude. Fucking, I don't know, we're talking WWE, NFL's like becoming WWE, dude. And NFL's it's, it's, I feel it's like, getting. Nah, I feel like that's some internet bullshit. Nah, dude. I dude, love me some NFL. Yeah, I know you do. You just wait till the season starts again. You're going to be hyped like normal. No, it's the only thing that I allow myself to like, but dude, it's been pretty hard to Come on, dude, the Lions Rams game. That that was I don't want to get too into football, but like dude, that was a chemical attack. chemical attack. That was a chemical attack on the Rams. Yeah, the referees in a lot of sports are like being the difference maker in it's, some games. It's like so apparent. I like But like you see that in UFC too. You see, like, early stoppages and shit, and the guy, like, gets up like, bro, I'm not even knocked down. Yeah, yeah, that's, I don't know, dude, it's... I don't, like, human error is, uh, I think we need to get robot refs and like, most... Yeah, you're, you're, you, anything robot, you love robots all of a sudden. Well, if we can speed up baseball and make it entertaining... You're not that guy. That'd be, that'd be cool, because <laughs> yeah, yeah, baseball yeah. fucking takes a while to watch. Well, baseball just is, a, that's how the sport is. Oh, the pastime. Dude, that yeah. is the gayest excuse for like way too long of a sport. Yeah. Oh, it's a pastime. You pass the time. I think it's funny how baseball has like their their teams are in like older cities, you know? For the most part. Like yeah. cities that like aren't really a thing as much anymore. I don't know. I feel like does that even make any sense? I'm, I Not feel like really. it makes no sense. Like I get with the sentiment. You know what I was I was just trying to tie it into this. <laughs> Remember when you said all cities suck? That's what I was about to say. That's some shit I'd say like way too yeah, yeah, like yeah, off, yeah. The, <laughs> off the hip. Exactly. Like yeah, smell like sulfur. Let me tell you this: yeah, every so single funny. baseball team yeah, in a so city funny. no one cares I know, about. I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, the cool thing uh, is the Dodgers. So we had to like, shake off a little rust in the beginning of this episode. Hey, that we happens. had to shake off a little. Dude, rust. That happens. Have you not heard a podcast before? <laughs> Fuck you where you breathe. You ever heard about the Dodgers? <laughs> they like destroyed like a thousand Mexican homes. To, yeah. Put the stadium that rocks. There. That's that cool. rules. That's, That's not cool. that old of a city. That's cool. Okay. I wanted to play a game with you. Uh, underrated or overrated? I feel like we've never done this. I want to just hear your outlandish takes on these. And you yell at me for like doing some cookie cutter shit? Yeah. I want to play it with you. I want to play with you too, but like. Okay. Underrated. <laughs> 
<laughs> what is this episode? <laughs> Bitch, you ain't pregnant. You're thirsty. All right, let's let's start this over. This is the hormonal episode. Well, it's because I'm going off of notes. I feel like it's real choppy if I do it that way, huh? Um, it's kind of no, choppy. It's fine. Let's see what the overrated or underrated. But is. Beach Boys. Way too overrated. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that. Okay. <laughs> I just hate the noise of it. You know, it's funny. I wanted to play underrated over with you. This was gonna be the joke. That's the only one I wrote down. Was Beach Boys. <laughs> For o- underrated? Yeah, because I no, I, I so I took I take notes for each episode now, and I was like, okay, underrated or overrated? That'd be fun to play with Rain because you have really strong opinions. And so I just wrote down Beach Boys, and then I just was like, oh, this is gay. I'm not gonna write anymore. So it was cookie cutter, but it was it was gonna hey, it was gonna be uncookie cutter by I me saying it was gay. You're a weird Harry. <laughs> but like, dude, it's way too common that I'll in, encounter like musicians that are like, oh, do you hold on? Do you know like the, you know the what Beach they're Boys? doing like musically? I'm like, dude, yeah. Okay. yeah. I, I no, do, it doesn't I, sound good. It doesn't I matter. Do, I do think the Beach Boys. Uh, what is cool about them is their production value. Their production value for when they were out is pretty good. It's like crazy. It's like their their songs are like super. Pro- I'm talking like. Yeah, Qual- I get producer that. from a producer, especially level. for the time. That's hard. Not, to... Yeah, not from like a a, a musical level. Um, also, I, I was going to ask you if you know this. Do you know that we're related to Chester Arthur, the president? What president is that? What number? It's like I think he's like twenty first. One of those forgettable ones. He had one term, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. So here, do you want me to read, read so about? So me him? and you are both related to Chester. Yeah, Arthur? it's from Grandpa. Hell yeah. Yeah. Let me. Uh, oh, yeah, I want to. Where he where's was like the, known for money. He was like known for his corruption. Where's the money? Um, yeah, he was... Uh, our piece? I want a piece of the pie. Yeah, he was 20th. He was the 20th president. Damn. Um, and he was, like, known as, like... I can't... I don't know. He was, like, known for being... Um, he was, like, corrupt. And then he, like... <laughs> he got... He was, like, super corrupt. And then he felt bad about it. And he, like, spent his whole, like, presidency, like, overcoming his corruption and, like, undoing all the shit that he started. He's just Nixon if he felt bad for what he did. Yeah, but like like a hundred years before, he was like in the eighteen eighties. But we're related to him, I guess, which is kind of crazy. I hate that shit, dude. I can't wait to do my fucking DNA test and be like, dude. "Here's all the people that you're related to," and it's like, I did it. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I don't have any fucking inheritance of it. Nothing's coming you down. You just want the money. You just want the the checkles. I need money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is true. My whole life, like I would have gone to college if I had money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fuck. That's true. <clears throat> Help me. You know what's funny? You know what's funny is I've been reading the comments for um, our show, and uh, we genuinely piss people off. When Good. We, no, when we trick them into listening to the show, when I say, like, Alex Jones is on the show and he's not. So we we either, it's 50-50. We either get a listener out of it, and they're like, ah, oh, this show's good. Or they just hate us or forever. Or they hate us forever. And I was thinking, you know, like, like Legion of Skanks, or like, I guess that's not really a good example, but like, just, just roll with me here. Don't, please, don't say immediately. Just say no. Hear right. me out. You know how Legion of Skanks is like. We're the actual counterculture. Most offensive, most podcast. offensive <laughs> podcast in the world. Most offensive podcast in the world. You know, what not I'm saying? gay at all. Yeah, like, I don't know. It's like they act like they're like, like I feel like we're true counterculture because no one listens to Legion of Skanks and is like, oh, this is this is making me angry. Like, dude, if you read the comments that I've read, like one of them was like. I can't believe that they would even say that they were signed to Gas Digital, these fucking punks. These oh, kids yeah. are punk assholes. Who would want to be signed to a company like that? It's like, I don't know, dude. Who want? No, that's Fuck not. Fuck your mother. I don't I mean, know. You're not. That's well, not that's the my point. point. You no. get me, give me your point. That's okay. my point. That's your point. Okay. But my point is, is they're saying like Gas Digital is like, is like, is like uh, prestigious and like we're little, we're little oh, great. Really? That's what I was saying. Oh, I got, yes. I got a different message from it. No, they're like, these guys would say, would say that they're signed to some prestigious thing, idiots. They're not even a, like that. Like I'm saying, we're like an actual counterculture, like mo- like staple. It's like a, we're like a rebels, dude. Yeah, well, dude. Dude, I'm gonna start dressing like a punk rocker again. Dude. That's a chemical attack. We're gonna start what if I made a vest with like studs and patches? Would would I like used, look you really to, gay? You used to have one. Yeah, you dude. used to have one. That was cool. That was cool. I actually sold it. Yeah, it's because the guy's like, "Hey, would you want to sell that?" And I'm like, "I, I need money." Yeah, you're, like, you are, you are. I know that was so funny. I got that, uh, I got that printer from my work, and you're immediately like, "You should sell that." And I was like, "I need it." No, I was like, "You can sell it yeah. for like eighty to hundred bucks if yeah. you just want a fucking quick bill in your pocket." Yeah, that was like, kind of crazy though. I was just walking out of uh, like the fucking office we had our thing, and then some guy had a sign. It was like, "I'm giving away a printer," and I looked it up. It was like two hundred fifty-seven bucks. Dude, if they were like smart homeless people by like my work. They yeah. would just chill because there's like two big office buildings. They just get rid of like barely broken or like office chairs that just need like a couple bolts yeah. tightened. 
And like, they're like $300 chairs, $100 printers that they just, they're old. So yeah. they're just like, oh, this is the only way we can get rid of them is put them in like the electrical yeah. recycling. Dude, go rob that shit. Yeah. It's, we've, we've, I don't know. It, it is, uh, it is a, a money year. It's an eight year. So like I am, I have been on my financial shit. And so that being said, uh, we have a new merchandise, oh, yeah. a way, new way of doing merch where, um, it's for, it's for the show. It's also just for me where I'm like just doing like five, a, a five shirts, a run of five. Exclusive so runs of shit. Exclusive runs. It's like, I'm just doing five forever. I have a log of who bought them and, uh, it's going to be cool. And it's, people have been fucking digging it. I've been d making shirts with, uh, people from love on the spectrum and it just says autism on it. Yeah. You did come over when I was watching. Yeah. Love yeah, on the spectrum. yeah. And so people are into that. So check that out. The fucking link is in the description. Also, I want to shout somebody out, dude. First shout out we've done in a while. Who are we talking to? A cult technician. Dude. He's Victor. the bro. Dude. He sent us like custom shirts. Hats. And, uh, He's, uh, I can't say who, but he's, uh, going to be on like a really, really huge podcast soon. Hell yeah, dude. Like he, a big one. He has like... He like deserves it. Dude, he has one of those um, like audiobook voices. Yeah. Like I like... It's really easy to listen to. Well, he he's doing like... I mean, he's doing like legit chaos magic and like rituals in his show. Like... Dude, let's fucking chaos so, magic this shit up. Where does he live? Let's go there. Let's go nah, there. I think he's like far, but... Uh, no, I just wanted to shout him out because he's been like really helping us and he's fucking the bro and he's, he he's rules, on dude. Kill Podcasters Network, so... Yeah, check him out, man. Check out our fucking boy, Cult Technician. Also, pa our Patreon is fire, dude. Our Patreon's been dude. fucking lit lately. Oh yeah, we're gonna yeah we're gonna do an episode after this episode, and it's gonna be yeah. I think it's gonna be fire since it's, it's gonna took a, it's gonna be good. Took us a little bit to warm up on this one. Yeah, it took us a while, but yeah. Um. Anyways, let's get back to what we're talking about, dude. Uh, <laughs> let's get anyways, back to the notes. Let's, let's get back to the notes. Um. What do you feel about Terrence Howard, the guy who's the the math guy? Dude, I used to think he was like dumb. He's now dude, um, I did a complete 180. I'm he's like, like, he's a genius. He talks about like electric universe and like he's into all that shit. Yeah, no, I actually brought this up like a few episodes ago. Like he like yeah. I think I ran across like a bunch of his like a he's lectures he's on, always TikTok. on TikTok. Dude. Yeah, he's dude. And I'm like, TikTok. I'm like, he's actually making a, a really good point. No, yeah, like people are gonna think that we're fucking stupid for this, but like he he does like make sense. Like if you listen to what he's saying in a not in like a non- I, don't, I secular is not the word, but like in a not like already educated way. Dude, with an open mind. Yeah, if you're open minded, man. yeah, there you go. If you're like open minded, yeah, yeah, like it, it, it totally fucking makes sense. Like what he's saying. Said we smell like sulfur. I don't know. It, it, I think it makes sense. But like the the only thing I'm like hung up about, like when they bring up like Nikola Tesla, like Tesla coils are powered by something. Does he talk about that? Does he talk know. about free energy, or are we just hopping into that one? We're just gonna hop into that, baby. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. okay. It seems like it connects. Because I'm just Electric Universe, Nikola Tesla. Yeah, I don't. I'm just making sure that we're just hopping. <laughs> you need to make sure. <laughs> you right? I have to double check that we're just hopping into it. You have Matrix glasses on. That reminds me of the Matrix. Yeah, these one. are Neo, dude. I'm fucking. No, Neo. not I'm, Neo. I'm fucking. I'm not Neo. Why? Do you remember the blonde chick? <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's. I'm fucking Nigo. <laughs> it's the blonde. <laughs> That Bro. gets off and like. Oh, oh yeah, what? You're going off on this. What, episode. dude? What's up? I'm ne the Neo, dude. <laughs> dude, all right. What? Those roles should have been reversed. Morpheus and Neo. Well, Morpheus or Neo was supposed to. That's what I'm saying. Like Chadwick Boseman. <laughs> no, he, he would have been a great Neo. Young Chadwick, Chadwick with with cancer. Bef no, but it would be way He's before like, I have cancer. Neo, I have cancer. Dude, he had cancer. He's <laughs> Black Panther. The, uh, Look at him go. The album is Good versus Evil. Uh, no, he it well because he was supposed to be Will Smith. Really? Will okay. Smith was supposed to be Neo. We've definitely talked about this on the show. There's oh. no way we haven't talked about this on the show. Judging by like matrix topics, it might have been when we were just drunkenly podcasting. Probably. <laughs> so, dude, how, forgive me for not remembering. How crazy is it that Hyper Sigil has an Emmy nominated writer who worked with Will Smith on the show? I can't, I can't tell, I can't say who it is. Yeah, no, I you can't told, say you who told it me is. off camera. That's, that's uh, wild. It's, yeah, it's, I don't want it, anyone like, to ruin right it. Right when you tell me, I'm like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I don't want anyone to ruin it because people will, people are fucking weird. Dude. Well, it's crazy how many people have like, like into the industry in like the early mid late 2000s yeah, yeah and like that door just slammed shut kind of like yeah. sam hyde because they just were like i joke yeah <laughs> yeah but sam, sam hyde was like the first canceled person 
Uh, he's pretty early. He was a pretty early one because he was like, he was canceled for like anti-Semitism on his show. Wasn't he like uploading like little like clips from what I've read? He uploaded like clips of like <laughs> what Nazi things on like an episode of like Cartoon Cartoon Network. Uh, he might have. I don't know. I I know that there's supposedly like hidden swastikas in his like in like the backgrounds of his shows and stuff. <laughs> I don't I don't know. I I have no idea. I just I think it's cool when people like get canceled and then they're like I'm coming back my own way and then that's like that's like what he did. He's definitely autistic as hell. I don't think so. Sam Hyde? No. He's not autistic, like, at all, actually. He's, like, the opposite. He seems spectrum-y. To think on, like, that level of, like... He's just smart. There's some people who are just smart and not autistic. Uh, I don't believe it. No? <laughs> what, you want to categorize yourself as non-autistic now and I think smart? I'm, I think I'm autistic. Exactly. That's why you're smart. The only reason I think I'm <laughs> autistic, though, is is because my girlfriend always tells me that I'm autistic, and I, and I believe her. We established that you you you're probably a shade. I got a shade for sure. Or maybe you're just like the like what you're saying. You're just the smart person that's not autistic at maybe, all. Maybe you're just I'm... too smart for your own good. And you're like, yes, I believe it. <laughs> yes, I am not autistic. That's like uh, those are kind of like the kids from fucking like the kids from high school who are you know the kids in high school who are like they're not cool but they're not not cool and like the, but the cool kids bully them. It's like kind of like. No, Me. not not. I don't know. You're, but you're like not autistic. You're like cool. You, you know, I, I didn't get bullied. You're like kind school. of like a punk kid. So you're kind of cool. I'm talking about kids who like are want to be cool, but they're not cool, and they get just slightly bullied. But they're they're like backups on the football team, kind of a kids. Yeah, and like, or maybe like another version of that person. Like they 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 show up to school with like. Like in the music crowd, they come to the music crowd and they have like a leather jacket that's a little too yeah, short. Yeah, 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 yeah. And like you got that from someone yeah. that doesn't fit you. Yeah, I feel like uh, I feel like those kids all become cops. I've been watching that show Jail recently. Either cops are like... And cops are all like kids who are like almost cool in high school. You know what I mean? Dude, and they immediately get sleeves to like change their identity. Yeah. Yeah, I dude, get it. Yeah. Dude, there's this cop, <laughs> I'm, there's I'm this, on the there's this cop that's on uh, on Reddit, on our first responder. Oh, no. And he like, he has like this super wide moon face, right? He has like this mo big moon face and he's like handsome, but you can tell as a teenager he was ugly. Cause like now he has like a short stubbly beard, but his face is like round and moonish. So it's like, oh, before your beard, you probably looked like an idiot, right? Yeah, beard do like, a lot. He has like sleeves. He has like sleeves on, and, and it, uh, it's like it, you touching your face just now, like that, really distracted me. Yeah, that's Beards the autistic thing we're talking that's about. That's like so. This is the uh, like just <laughs> no, because you do this thing. God damn it! You free. Jeez, Rain, you fucking knocked the thing over. I knew the blanket was going to be a problem. Yeah, you sh No, it's you no, it's touching not. your face, dumb. The blanket, you fuck face. That's a chemical attack. I want to press charge. God damn you sometimes. <laughs> That's a chemical attack. I want to press charge. <laughs> no, 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 no. But like, no, because like you do this thing where you like this, you, you doing this is autistic. You'll like say something. You'll be like, yeah, I want to tip my hat to you. And you'll go like this and you'll tip your hat to the camera. And it's like, <laughs> this is an audio medium. You fucking freak. Why are we recording <laughs> it on video? Then? You like that? You go like this <laughs> because YouTube is necessary. Even though no, we, it's because there's some people that do watch podcasts. Yeah, it's I know. Crazy I know. No, but this is what you do. This is what you just did. Uh, Guys, this is what he did. It's so gay, dude. Bitch, you ain't pregnant. You're this, thirsty. This is so gay. You're like this, this is literally like autist this. against you're autist. Like this. This doesn't, <laughs> like this dude you go you go i'm all yeah beard you're all yeah beards do a lot and then you rub your face yeah. like a fucking monster a monster i was a fucking idiot i would think <laughs> creep but yeah monster no fine. dude no it's like this no because the way you fucking do it no it's because i'm self-aware i'm on camera no you <laughs> do it like a you're weird right now dude you do it like a fucking guy, an anime guy, where they're, you're like, yeah, that you're like be. this. You're, this is what you do. You like. I this. never said I'm not autistic. You'll be like this. Dude. Yeah, make sure to. You'll be like, yeah, and then he smiled for the camera, <laughs> and then you turn and you're like, hey, hey, huh, <laughs> anime. Huh. That rules, dude. Like, I yeah. bet you, dude. I bet you, there's people that respect it. No one watches the show. <laughs> Everyone listens to it. I also, I could, I could, I could see that too. No, it's because you have one boomer friend who's like, I watch your show. No, That's no, why. there's people that watch our YouTube. That's I'm not going off the boomer friend I have. That's just insane to me. That's insane to me that you think <laughs> to just go. That I think mm, people are beard. watching our show no, that we're just that. putting no, on that video. You, that, you, <laughs> that you're like, you're like, yeah, beard does a lot. And you feel your face. Yeah, I'm trying to be fucking weird and I don't know. You're gay sometimes. Yeah.
What this, is, this, is, this is autism <laughs> against autism. You're like, why are you being so self-aware? I'm like, I don't know. Why are you being No, it's like so it's like so self-aware that it's the opposite that you're like, yeah. yeah but like being that critical of something like that is like autism. I don't, I don't know. I think that that's just That's yeah. why your name's always been autizzy. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only one I like from this week. <laughs> um, all right. No, so I don't know. But um I don't know, it's just funny that the cops are just like they're like, Yeah, I'm fucking cool now. And like the way that they'll do the intake in the jail show, they'll be like they'll be like, like, ask me what happened. Ask you what happened? Yeah, I'm a cop. With jail? Yeah, like you're a cop and I'm a cop and we just like like I I just booked some guy. Like, hey, who what happened to this guy when he was uh when you arrested him? What was he doing? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> God damn you! Sometimes. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just kidding. I just did that to make you mad. <laughs> I literally just did that to fuck with you. I swear. And it's funny, like I just did that to make you. I mad. I did this because of those cringe. I know. Cops. No, I know you, you did. Son of a bitch, dude! <laughs> I'm gonna fucking kill you. <laughs> yeah, I thought you were gonna. I thought you were just gonna. Punch, I'm leaving the park. You're just gonna punch the light. No, I I just did that to fuck with you. No, but it is. Uh, no, I know that's why you do that, but it's funny because you're doing it to be cringe. It's self aware, I know, but it's funny to just make fun of you for it. No, I actually didn't remember why I was doing it, but it was the. You told me those like first responder cringe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you sent me the video of like the white dude that's always in like a bulletproof vest and he has like That's the guy I was talking about. That's the guy yeah, I was talking dude, about. Yeah, dude, that guy like if you look at him, you can tell he used to get bullied. He's always like Yeah. Gonna pull a guy over. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, so anyways, so <laughs> what did you do when you arrested that guy? <laughs> it's like an Indian actor in an American it's like an Indian American script. What did he get arrested what for? What did you do with this guy when you talk him in the jail when you arrest him? <laughs> Like, did he pull his dick out? No, so this is what they do. They, they'll be like... like anything I say won't work <laughs> with your fucking bait. You want, like, an exact <laughs> sentence, you fucking autist? No, they'll be like, they'll be like, oh, that's what happened. They'll be like, yeah, so, uh, you know, we're walking in the jail, and I'm just walking him, and he he, he, he moved, and, and I, I go, don't move, and I go... Oh, you mean he reached for your gun? And if you move, I'm going to have to take it, I'm going to have to take you down, and then he moved, so we had to do what we had to do. They always, hey. like, have that, like, hey, what's going on here? Okay, they always have that, like, tone, you know, and... um. Yeah, they puff out their chest, and they grab their hip. It's just... Not even a, their gun, they just, just grab their hip. It's just such a fucking dorky tone. It's just so funny how dorky it is. They're just like, yeah, so, uh, you know, we had... But it's just funny watching them, because they'll, like... They totally provoke the fucking people they arrest. They'll like arrest a like homeless guy and be like, "Oh, where would he stay?" And he's like, "I'm fucking homeless." And they're like, ah, "I don't yeah, know." <laughs> yeah, and then they'll be like, "Oh, you got a crazy guy here." Like, huh? Oh, you you better calm down. Or we're gonna have to t we're gonna have to uh, 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 put you to spit shield. Oh, sounds like you've been on the bottle a little much. Do we need to do we need to detain you and put you? In no, yeah. Or they'll be like, "Oh, you need to sober up." Spit and mask. Yeah, no. It, it, they'll just be like. Oh, you've been drinking? The guy will be like, no. And like, you smell like booze. And the guy's like, I haven't been drinking. And they're like, well, how much did you drink? And they'll be like, I stop asking. They're like, you know, they'll ask like mentally ill people 10 times how much they had to drink. And people are, they expect people to not freak out when they're in jail. They do. Jail is a really good show. Yeah, it's fire. Especially when they arrest people for like, when they also have medical conditions. Those are great episodes. Like which one? There was this one episode I remember. It was probably like. I thought, gonna, okay, say real quick? I thought for sure you were gonna go, I don't know. <laughs> I don't the classic really know. the classic. <laughs> Fuck you. Um yeah, so this episode of, of jail. This You're guy not that guy. This guy gets arrested. He's visibly like completely smashed. Yeah. He's an overweight dude. And he's like yelling. He's like, I need my heart medication. I need my heart medication. I remember this guy. He's like, I need the medication that helps my Blood going to my body. <laughs> I remember that guy. Favorite of all time. Yeah, he's dude. short. He's a short guy. Yeah, he's a short, fat little like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah dude. Like dude, Kyle Gass, basically dude, from. I remember. I remember. So if you are watching, you can watch this. I, I remember oh. this. I remember this guy. Oh, now people are watching. Yeah, only if they're watching. Now me. people are watching. If they're watching for me. Son of a bitch. <laughs> no, you do just, have a pretty little mug. There's this guy. <laughs> there's this, <laughs> you have a pretty little pug pug pie. No, there's this guy and um. And he's like a Marine and he has his shirt off and he's like, you know, like fat drunk guys who you could tell used to be jacked. Like he's like an Italian guy. Like he was like, he's sitting there and he's like this. <laughs> he has like one eye smaller and, and they're looking at him and he's and they're like, and he's like, and then they're like, oh, like you used to be a Marine. And he's like, oh, yeah. To have seen what I've seen. No, and he just goes, <laughs> he goes, yeah. And they go, all right, well, you're in jail now. And he's like, <laughs> he just fucking lunches at him and starts biting him. It's like a horror movie. Yeah, it's, just, yeah, it's so funny. Jail rocks, dude. I love that show. It's so funny. I was I was talking to to Avery. I was like, she came uh, to the apartment after one of her, she she, she does plays. So she can, she had rehearsal really late. So she comes over. Okay. And uh, I'm like just sitting there. It's like, it's like 1130 and I'm just like in a blanket, just like 
eating Reese's with my, with my dog watching it, and she's like, "What are you doing?" And I'm like, "What?" Not like mean, but she's like, "What are you like laughing like what, life. like what the fuck?" And and she's like, "I was like a serious question." And, she, and I'm like, <laughs> "I'm like what?" She's like, "Why do you watch Jail? Like why do you like these shows?" And I was like, and I and I thought about it for a minute, and I was like. Probably because I should have been arrested probably 500 times in the course of my 10 year stint of like alcoholism. Yeah, but then why do I like it? I, I don't know. But like, I, I genuinely feel like I like it because psychologically it's comforting knowing, like, ha, I got the good ending. You my whole thing, I mean? it's just, it's fun watching absurd behavior. Yeah. I know what you mean, but like, that's a, it doesn't have to be that deep. There's yeah. a reason why it's on TV. Yeah. That's, that's it's entertaining true. as that's fuck. That's true. Dude. That's true. Well, I'm, I'm just trying to, you know. <laughs> I get it. But like it's it's. I'm it's really a, sad that you don't like Chemical Attack that much. It fucking makes me sad. That was like I the one you were like, hoping for, huh? I think it's so funny. Like that's a chemical attack. It's just that's a chemical attack because fucking this guy throws bleach on him and he's like, I'm suing. I'm ruining the show. I'm taking the show down. <laughs> that would be me. Yeah. Damn, soundboard didn't hit today. Fuck, dude. Hey, bam, dude. What was the soundboard today? On one to ten. We got to start doing a soundboard grade. Um, I could have six and a half. I thought it was gonna be six. Six and yeah, a half. six or six and a half. Just so I have room to like, dude. Like last was ten. Yeah, no, not ten. Like an eight five. Because ten is coming. That's ten the is, whole thing. Ten, like yeah. we don't know when the ten is. So that's that was the eight and a half. Well, I think what we're gonna do is every at the end of every season. So every twenty five episodes is a season. We'll bring all the best of them back for like that last season finale episode. Yeah, maybe we have like the fans vote on one, in the Patreon yeah. probably. Patreon, Patreon, yeah, dude. Vote. Patreon fans have like so much power we over a podcast. So we should, crazy. so we should, yeah, they run the show. We <laughs> should do a, um, well, then what we should do is we should do season finales. Like every twenty fifth episode, we'll do like a two hour episode. It's a lot. It's so long. <laughs> it's actually not. If like you don't look at the clock on the damn soundboard, we actually like talk like we're. <laughs> yeah, well, like we're already almost at an hour. This was an easy. This was easy as fuck. It was. This is a super easy one. This is a. This is a. I, I've been ridiculed, but it's I've been, been easy. I've been ridiculed, <laughs> dude. I just. I. I just can't believe how stupid those people were. Like at the. Like no, dude, it, and that's never gonna end. I know. And like, like it doesn't matter what career you go to. Yeah, it was weird too because the the guy kept like. Like he was like, yeah, I'm I'm one of those guys, man. I'm just a Croc hater. It's like, <laughs> what? He's like, I just hate Crocs. I hate people who wear Crocs. Can't one thing Crocs. about me, don't yeah. like Crocs. And, and it's it. like, I I really like I realized I like have this like serious problem with people who like don't have like an identity. Yeah, like outside of these really weird artificial like. It was funny because like this is the first time like because when you're like a, like when I was serving right it was the first. Time I've like you're serving you're by yourself a lot. It's just you. Like you're just interacting with people. But to like be in this like situation where you have to really sort of like see people's like pathologies and like the way they think kind of. And yeah. like, you're like, oh man, these people are like like I just didn't remember people being so like mentally handicapped, it sounds like. <laughs> Yeah, like... Like, they're not dumb. They just, like, their mind goes a certain length and then just stops. Well, I guess what I'm kind of saying is, like, the last time I was in a situation like this, I was, like, fucked up on drugs and alcohol, so I just didn't pay attention to people's, like, lack of identity. They're like, they're gay. I'm like, that guy's gay. But I wouldn't, like, think about it. But, like, now I'm, like, sober and I'm, like, I need to entertain myself. So I'm, like... I just think it's crazy. I think it's... Like, to me, Rain, I think it's so crazy to be like, yeah, I'm a boxer. And then just like, oh, like, where do you box? At my garage, man. I, just, I teach myself. No way. <laughs> I teach myself and my son how to box. It's like, that's not how boxing works at all. Yeah, there's people that, like, have trained as much jujitsu as me, which is, like, a year and a half, 10 years ago. And yeah. they're like, yeah, dude, I do jujitsu. I don't do jujitsu. Yeah. But there's people that are like, yeah, dude, I'm fucking, I'll fuck you up, dude. I yeah. do jujitsu. Like, I, I consider, I haven't gone to the gym in a week, and I consider myself not doing Muay Thai or jujitsu. You know what's interesting too is this is something I realized. So <clears throat> humble is like as j narcissistic and jokingly you know self absorbed I can be. I don't think that I'm like smart or like I don't think I'm smart. I don't look at myself as like better than other people. I really don't. I don't think you look at yourself better, but I think you do look at yourself smarter because I look at myself smarter than other people. But and this I is think my you're smarter than me. This is my point. <laughs> this is my point though. Is I've noticed. So how about this? Okay, so so we can both acknowledge there are people who are smarter than us. That that let's say that. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. So Joe like, Rogan. <laughs> yeah, fucking idiot. You fucking <laughs> retard. I hate you. No, but like um like there's like the people who like think 
that like uh, like other people are dumb are always the stupidest people in the room. Like he was like, yeah, the instructor guy, he was a fine guy. Like, I don't want to talk shit about this guy. I feel bad talking shit, but like nameless dude. Yeah. But he was like, he pulled me aside. Teaches people how to chauffeur. He, 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 he noticed me, he noticed me being irritated with like the class. And so he pulled me aside one day and he was like, Hey, am I running this class? Okay. Or, and I was like, dude, you're fine. It's not you. It's like the people that are like asking dumb questions. And he's like, yeah, I can't really help that. But he gave this like weird, like, yeah, guys like me and you, we don't ask dumb questions. Oh dude, that's so and it, weird. And it was like, it was like, no, I'm sure I asked dumb stuff too. But like, I don't think I don't ask dumb questions. I just like, it's this weird thing of like, yeah, like, you know the people who say things like no, he, they like try to relate to you. Like dude. everyone's stupid, but us. It's yeah. like weird. It's like I don't even think like that. I just think that, dude. Like I don't think these people are stupid. I just think that they're being obnoxious and they know and like they don't have a sense of like awareness or something. I've gotten that the most with like playing with different like guitar players, mainly guitar players. Yeah, it's like yeah, they're I, like, like I'm the smart dude, one, dude. Me and you, like, <laughs> look at how fast we wrote that song. They're yeah, just, yeah, dude. Yeah. And I'm like, that's not it. <laughs> yeah, or like. <laughs> Yeah, like me and you. Like, it, like and by like, the way, you have like four riffs. So. It'd be like if you and I were 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 podcasting and, and we were like tongue in cheek, like yeah, but we're the podcasters and they're the listeners. Like, I think that most people who don't podcast are smarter than me for not. I wish we would have. <laughs> no, because you know? there's a level of genius to not fucking putting yourself on audio and video and doing yeah, this. Just being like this. Yeah. Right. Dude, or even if you compare ourselves to like uh, a cult technician, yeah, like we're retarded. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I just, I just noticed that observation of, uh, I don't know, dude. Yeah, but dude, you know what that does? It just leaves us so much room to grow, and we're gonna be here forever. We're not going anywhere. Yeah, yeah. We're, so all we got to do is grow, baby. Yeah, I think I think we're growing slowly but surely. I think uh, I don't know. It takes a lot of time, dude. This shit takes a lot of time. It takes years. Yeah. It takes hard work, blood, sweat, and tears, blood, sweat, and, dude. Blood, sweat, and tears. You know how much blood has gone? You know how much podcast? sweat? You know how many tears have gone? There's some, been some tears. I've just gone like Amazon buy life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Swipe. Swipe. Like, fuck, fuck. I need money. I, yeah. I didn't. I, dude, I've overspent like one month. I'm like, oh shit. Really? Like in November. Uh huh. <laughs> like when I bought the GoPro and the lights, I was like, whoops. But it, it's kind of nice doing it all in one fell swoop, though. That was like easiest way Especially to do it. Especially before Christmas. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're luckily we don't really need any big purchases for here on out. It's just gonna it's just gonna be little shit like um What's well, little and big shit? Now it's up to us to like fight. Well it's just incrementally making the show better and like we're gonna have to pay for our Vimeo again soon. Vimeo? Mm-hmm. That's what we upload the the Patreon videos through. Vimeo. How many views does a Vimeo get, dude? Not not a lot, but the thing is Like is, I've never been on Vimeo. Yeah, but it's the only way we can get our Patreon to not get our YouTube banned. Oh, okay. So that's how like you scream it through Vimeo too. Yeah, and the video the video files are too big to upload straight to Patreon. Honestly, dude, I've thought about it. If I died, you would not know how to run the show. No, I'd figure it out. It's not like it would be very hard for you. It would be a little shittier for sure. But like I have the you. laptop capable. You would just do it by yourself, duh head. <laughs> the duh head. Just have my corpse here just rotting away. No, I would probably like start clipping you from the couch philosopher oh yeah you could oh you could and just start, bot. you could have yeah, dude, bot come on yeah no i'd like panic call tanner and be like tanner help yeah, Get, yeah. i need the izzy bot dude tanner, he, i need izzy bot. he's gone i don't yeah, know what to yeah. do i have no friends he i have no he, podcast he died chauffeuring dude or it's either that or this would turn into like the gayest sports podcast of all time that'd be the shittiest arc you could possibly do i would fucking hate you i'd be so mad at you Cause like that's that's one thing that comes easy is like just bullshitting about sports. Like I don't know shit about basketball, and I can fucking bullshit. I don't know. I, I know like nothing about basketball. I know enough to bullshit for just. For but not hours. weekly, not weekly. Week. I would just all I would have to do is start watching basketball at work a little bit. Well, it's so easy to have like the notes make this shit fly by, but also I feel like I don't know how I feel about notes because it makes it not. It makes it feel real choppy. No, you have to have like like my notes that I have written. There's like five like bullet points, but I like I never want to like just throw them out there and like hey hey, hey what about this? Yeah, dude? that's kind of what I did, huh? No, I like dude, I it, like you wanted to talk about something. It made sense. You're like, yeah. we need to talk about Vince McMahon. Yeah, that, that shit that was, was gnarly. That was fucking nuts, dude. And like, dude, I, you guys are gonna have to go look for yourselves and read those texts. I'm sure some of you have seen them, dude. There, we, it's insane. Yeah, it's plugging holes and. 
Yeah, I like a lot of cum, I, well, dude, that's why I was about cum so much. That's why dude. I was reading through different texts. That wasn't all just one text. I was reading through like different ones because I can hit all the stuff he says. It's like actually kind of insane. It's fucking crazy. Like what's up? So with, what was he actually doing with the girl though? I don't understand. He was like telling her to like go sleep with these guys this night and go sleep with those guys this night. And he would pay her. That, that I think that's where the trafficking like that is trafficking technically. Oh, uh, wow. Well. So like I think I don't think it's like like a Epstein Island trafficking. I think it's just more of like, yeah, he was directing this girl where to go. Yeah. And fuck people. Yeah. And it's pretty crazy. (laughs) And there was also like mention, I think I told you this off camera, like he wanted to be, he would like cosplay as a Brock Lesnar during sex, which is so fucking weird, dude. Dude, like, just imagine during the height of Brock Lesnar, there's Vince McMahon, like with a random lady, like Brock. I'm Brock Lesnar. I have big traps. That's so fucking weird. Dude. So he must think he's like, he must be like kind of into him then. There has to be, like, there has to be something that happens with like 500 million plus that like normal sex is out the window, dude. Like, I don't know what it is, but it's like every fucking time. Joe Rogan's like bordering on yeah. like he's gonna get fucking no, dude, weird. Joe Rogan's been like, dude, what if he's a trafficker in like no, 20 dude, years? he he's been like really going downhill. Like, like actually, all those did you see seals his, he's employed to guard his facility? I those could, are no, human trafficking. No, there's actually people who theor- theorize Joe Rogan's like closeted gay. They have like they have like evidence that that's not bad. Uh, closeted gay oh, and human oh, trafficking. Oh. <laughs> All right, we're going to hop over to the Patreon. We're going to hop over to the Patreon. But if you want to connect the dots, we're going to connect them. Let's go to Patreon, right, dude. We're going to the Patreon. Fuck yeah. All I'll right. help you connect All them. Right.